The promise of balloon rides drew big crowds to a recent event in Sugarland. The only problem is that nothing ever got off the ground at what was billed as Balloonapalooza Fall Fest. Good evening, I'm Bill Baessa. And I'm Lauren Freeman. Fans were super excited, but their bubble soon burst when they found out the balloons could not take off because of the wind. Several people reached out to us and say that they want their money refunded. Channel 2's Andy Sirota is live tonight in Sugarland with some answers about this. Andy? Hi, Lauren. The concerns leveled by those ticket holders really taking on a life of their own on social media. So Balloonapalooza is a festival that goes on tour. They go from city to city. And this past weekend, they were here on this grassy field right next to Constellation Field. Now, we talked to a local woman who says she paid more than $150 for tickets for her family and waited around here for more than three and a half hours and never saw a single balloon. Nina Javahair claims the tickets she bought for that tethered balloon ride were refundable. So she went online to the festival's website only to discover they were non-refundable, even though the printed ticket said they were refundable. Javahair says she tried contacting someone from the company through the website but never heard back from anyone. She says, sure, her kids were disappointed about the whole thing, but what made her most upset were the stories she was hearing from some of the other frustrated families she was waiting around with. She says some of them were victims of Hurricane Harvey, and that really broke her heart. So she contacted us. We came out of such a catastrophe with Harvey, and the whole community came together with such a love and compassion. And we just cannot let anybody take advantage of this community like that. So late this afternoon, I spoke with a representative from the Balloon Palooza tour. He says he feels terrible about not being able to fly this past weekend and says they tried flying with some of the smaller balloons, but they were unable to hold them down. So as a result, he told me he's keeping his folks here in town and says he sent an email blast to ticket holders that he's working on trying to secure another location. It may not be this particular location here in Sugarland, but he's doing his best right now, he says, to honor those tickets. Reporting live tonight in Sugarland, Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News.